Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. Today video is going to be a really interesting because I know most of the people are looking for this video. So we'll be discussing about Oracle Autonomous Database. So what is meant by Autonomous Database? When I'm saying it's an Autonomous Database, so definitely you can understand that it is a one who don't require anyone. It is an automatic database. Okay. So what is this automatic database, autonomous database and how you can configure it and what is the features, all the steps we are going to see with this video. And before going to my video, please do like, subscribe and share this channel so that whatever the videos will get into the future, you are the first person who will get the notified about this video. Okay, so let's get started about Oracle Autonomous Databases. If I'm telling you the features of Oracle Autonomous Database, then you can see it is a self-provisioning, self-securing, self-managing, self-preferring, self-scaling, self-optimizing. So what is common in this, the five or six feature? What is common over here? The common thing is about self. Self means I am the one who don't require anyone. So this is a database who is doing most of the activities by himself only because of that only we are calling it as a Oracle Autonomous Database. So there are two variant of the Oracle Autonomous Database. Let's say there is one variant we call it as a ATP which is Autonomous Transaction Processing. You know when we are working with the Oracle Database some of the time we need to deal with the OLTP transaction just like you know ATM transition all the stuffs right. So in that case you can go ahead with the Oracle Autonomous Transition Processing which is a ATP variant for the Oracle Database Autonomous Database. Second thing is ADW. This variant is mainly focusing on the data warehouse. Oracle Autonomous Database is really really fast because this Autonomous Database is based upon the Exadata technology. Now you know in the Exadata which is uh, a next generation Oracle Database you can call it as which is mainly useful for the faster processing right now in order to make it more faster then there is required a resource so we can increase the resource without any downtime because of that only you can say over here as a self scaling so whenever it needs more resource it can increase it automatically without a downtime now let's take about the fetching activity normally in the oracle database we have seen that we need to stop the database service set we need to stop the listener but you know without having the much downtime you can do the patching and that is also automatically in this Oracle Autonomous Database. Now you will be scared like what will happen if everything is done by the Oracle Autonomous Database. What about the DBA jobs? Let me tell you guys frankly even though they have the Autonomous Database still the Oracle is saying that we need a DBA because they are the one who will discuss with the developer. You know I just remember one statement from the very popular guy that one man cannot create another man that is the thing okay because even though you have a robot but that never be a smarter than man that is not possible so when i remember like when in the oracle 9a database 10g database or more in 12c also when the new features are coming every time you know people are saying that oh dba jobs are getting fired like uh, there will not be much uh, vacancy with the DBA. No, nothing will be like that. Okay. Even though new features are coming, new features are coming with something new which is not required. Okay. And for that, the DBAs are really needed. Yes, there is an opportunity. There is a lot of opportunities. There are new skill sets which are coming into the market in future. And the roles of DBA will get definitely changed. Okay. So for that, you need to prepare yourself, learn more and more things, be strong with the technical. Okay. And you can see my channel dude okay just go to my channel and most of the things i'll try to put it over there so that you will be in the sync with the future okay so this is all about the oracle autonomous database now one more thing which i want to tell you before i go with the next video in the next week that about the oracle autonomous database installation so how you can do this installation i will show you this thing practically in the future okay definitely i'll show you but for that what i need you need to just comment it and say this yes you need this autonomous database installation definitely i'll do it but before that one more thing which i want from you that is you want to not you i want me uh, what i'm saying man 
I'll have to ask my accountant about that. <laughs> uh, I want you to subscribe my channel, okay? This is what I need and uh, how this Oracle Autonomous Database can be installed that is all depend upon the Oracle Cloud. You can do it on Oracle Cloud that too free of cost, okay? You just need to give your credit card details. You will get some free kind of you can say a um, wallet some some amount you'll get it and by using that you know amount you can install the free Oracle Autonomous Database that is all possible okay so how to do that I'll show you in the next video please do like subscribe and share this channel if you really want to understand about the Oracle Autonomous Database and if you have any queries just put it into the comment section definitely I'll reply on it and if you want to support us you can no problem.